I have spent $1,298.30 on my small business so far. Number one on my to-do list was to repackage my Polaroids into DIY kits. And I did it! So these are kits that are on my Etsy now and when you purchase you get a Polaroid and a few flowers that I personally pressed that complement the color of the Polaroid. It's really great if you're working on your own DIY project and you kind of need something special to jazz up that project. So this is that creator's kit, done, checked off my list. Next up on my to-do list was the thing that I have been dreading the most, but I did it. And that is looking at how much I spent on my small business so far. So <laughs> these numbers are going to be huge. I break up the budget into smaller categories based on the products that I sell on Etsy. I will link all the products in the description box. So number one, I sell these floating frames and for these frames, I have spent in total $109 for 84 frames. Next up are the Polaroids. I have bought four twin packs, each for $13. And so 13 times 4, I've spent $52 on Polaroids. Next are flowers. I buy the flowers in bouquets and I just press them that way. So, so far I have spent $40 on flowers. Metallic flakes, I bought these on Amazon. They come in a pack of three. So I get gold flakes, silver flakes, and copper flakes. And that was $6. Regular trusty old glue, $2. Double-sided tape to stick the Polaroid onto the glass, $1. White paint markers for when I personalize the floating frames. They came in a pack of four and cost $11. Silica packets, I put these into the Tupperware I use to store my pressed flowers. And in total for that floating frame product, I spent roughly $228. And I say roughly because there are some materials that I use with the other products as well. So it's kind of hard to break it down perfectly. Next up are my larger frames. These frames are 12 by 16 inches and I bought 10 of them, each one for $8, so $80 for these frames. Watercolor paper, which I used to glue the flowers on. This is a pad of 30 sheets, 12 by 18, and it was $22. In total, for my larger frames, I have spent $102. Next up are my bridal boxes. And besides the frames that I calculated earlier, I also use transfer markers to transfer laser prints onto the vellum. And I've bought two of those markers, each for $6, so $12 for these markers. And if you are using these markers as well, please, please use them in a well-ventilated area because the fumes coming from these markers are so strong. I use watercolor for my bridal boxes as well, but they are a smaller size. And so for the smaller size of watercolor paper, I spent $11. And for a pack of vellum, I spent $6. So not including the frames, the floating frames from before, for my bridal box, I spent $29. This one is a very long category because it includes my shipping supplies and also things that I've invested in for packaging. Number one, the boxes that I used to send my floating frames. I bought two packs. Each pack was 25 boxes and each pack was $26. So, so far, $52 on those boxes. 
For the 12 by 16 frames, I need a bigger box to package that and send that off. So those boxes came in a pack of 25 and that was $42. Packing tape, $6. Crinkle paper so that nothing shifts around in the box, $21 for two pounds. Tissue paper, I bought one from AliExpress once and that was $4.30. But the tissue paper that I actually like using is the one from the dollar store, which is $3 per pack. And I've bought three packs so far. Next is craft paper. I bought this roll for $22 off of Amazon. I use it to line the boxes before I pack them in and send them out. For my larger frames, I also use this craft paper to wrap the frames in. Foam wrap, I also use for the larger frames. And I bought this from Walmart for $13. These Etsy stamps, which I absolutely love and highly recommend, I use these for my packagings. So I stamp them on the outside of the boxes and I bought two, a smaller size one and a larger size one. And in total, I spent $71 on those stamps, but it was such a great investment. I designed and ordered 50 postcards from Moo for $40 and I highly recommend this company. Their customer service is amazing, their turnaround time is very quick as well, and the quality of print is really good. And they have a satisfaction guaranteed policy, so if you receive your order and you don't like it, you can just contact them and they will work with you to reprint your product and send you another one. So my experience with Moo has been incredible, so I definitely recommend them to you as well. If you would like to use Moo, you can use my referral code to get a discount. Wax seals for an extra level of fanciness for my packaging. I spent $30 on everything that I needed for the wax seals. I put foil on the top of this because it is a little too close to the flame, so my wax starts to burn even before it's entirely melted. So I have this foil on here to kind of help the heat be distributed more evenly. I spent $3 on yarn to wrap up the larger frames once they're all packaged, $2 on the circle stickers, and last but not least, $17 on ink pads for my stamps. In total, all my shipping and packaging supplies cost $326.30. Next up are my furniture and programs that I use. So I have this lamp that is really great that I bought from Amazon for $23. It has five different brightness settings and also different tones. So if you want a wider toned light or a more glowy yellow tone light, you can change and adjust to whatever environment you like. I'm hoping to get this standing desk from Ikea. It cost $250. And funny story, but we actually went to Ikea and I bought it, but I thought I could hack it and buy a cheaper tabletop. But I did not check my numbers too thoroughly, so I bought the wrong size tabletop. So now I don't have a desk that works. But when we go back to Ikea, this is going to be my desk. Next is the Polaroid printer. This was $100. I also subscribe to Adobe Suites. All of my editing and designing, I use Adobe and I pay around $20 a month. For a whole year, I spend $240. In total, for my furniture and programs, I spent $613. The moment you've all been waiting for and the moment I've been dreading the most. I have spent $1,298.30 on my small business so far. <laughs> Woohoo! Such a big number! These are all things that I decided I wanted to invest my money in for my small business. But if you're just starting out your small business, you don't need to invest in all the things that I invested in. Just evaluate what's important for you and you can start from there. 
If you are starting your own small business, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to continue following along on my small business journey, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.